New Underwood hasn't seen any major growth in the past two decades, but that could change. A proposed housing development is just the start for the small South Dakota town. Keith Grant has the details. We're tigers through and through. Yeah. Teresa Hall is the mayor of New Underwood. Rolling into the town from Interstate 90, the Wild Springs Solar Farm catches your eye. But beneath it is the small town, one that hasn't changed significantly in the last 20 years. BJ's used to be Steve's, but before that it was Melmar's. It was just a small mom and pop. Hall has served on the city council since 2012. She graduated from here, as did her kids. The town is quiet during the week. You can hear cars rushing by on the interstate. Many people use that same road to commute to work. You know, the nursing home, I believe, is our largest um, employer right now mm -hmm. in New Underwood. Um, a lot of local people work there, but then they still have to bring in people, too. The current city council is preparing for growth. They have been in talks to build 58 single-family homes. Filling a need, not trying to uh, change the community in any other way than, you know, a little bit of slow growth and a little bit of housing to bring in some new young families. This is the first step in attracting new businesses. While meat processing will open a shop that could bring 50 jobs to the town of 616. We're still still looking forward to that. Okay. Um, he's still tying up loose ends. That's not the only loose end. The New Underwood City Council has yet to formally approve the housing development, Curtis Creek. In New Underwood, I'm Keith Grant, Coda Territory News.